Well, hello there. It's Chef Cantor Doug. Welcome to another episode of the Cordon Bleu Jew. Don't be a schnook, learn how to cook. Hanukkah is so much fun. You have to have the candles and the dreidel and so many gifts. But tonight I'm going to show you how to make my favorite part of Hanukkah, the latka. No, <laughs> not that latka. Seriously though, there are lots of ways to make latkes. There's zucchini latkes, Mexican latkes, you know, with chilies and salsa. There's various latka sandwiches like the Reuben latka and gourmet latkes and even Chinese latkes. And there's cheesy latkes and latkes made with cauliflower and there, there are even chocolate latkes. But tonight I'm gonna show you how to make latkes, the real ones. In fact, I'm gonna show you how to make latkes several different ways. Now the easiest way by far is simply to go to McDonald's and buy some hash browns. You take them out of the bag and arrange them on a plate. No one will know. Is it cheating? <laughs> Probably. Are they yummy? Of course. No one will know. Shh. Another pretty easy way is just to go to Trader Joe's and buy some Trader Joe's frozen potato latkes. You put on your mask, of course, before you get out of the car. They'll give you some hand sanitizer there. You can't find it? Duh, it's in the freezer section. Now, how big is your family? Don't be a cheapskate. Buy two boxes or maybe three. Take my word for it, you'll eat them all. Once home, rip, op, open the box. Ow, oh, oh, ow, rats, oh, I got a paper cut. Oh man, that hurts. Uh. Anyway, now comes the hard part, reading the directions. No, I'm, I'm kidding. All you have to do is slap these yummers into a cookie sheet and slide them into a preheated 350 degree oven for about 12 minutes. Easy peasy. They're good, crispy, dependable. Gail, I'm bleeding. I need a bandage. Would you please be careful? Or you could take the middle path and go to Ralph's. Again, be safe, put on that mask, go down to aisle six, halfway down on the right, second shelf from the bottom, and grab a box of a Strites potato pancake mix. Depending on your astrological sign, of course, you can substitute with Manischewitz brand or Carmel. Better yet, pick up two boxes. The family will want plenty. Open the box carefully this time. Pour the contents of the dried potato, dried onion, and dried matzo meal. Pour it into a large bowl. Add some raisins and chocolate chips, and you will have the worst tasting trail mix ever. No, seriously, uh, the directions are simple. Just pour it into a bowl and you just have to add eggs and cold water and then mix it up. You drop dollops into the hot oil. Don't you just love that word? Dollop, dollop, dollop. Fry on one side until golden brown. Flip carefully. Ow! Oh, ow! Man, hot oil burns. Holy Mattathias. Ow! Set onto paper towels to drain, serve immediately, and yum. Gail, I burned myself. I need some ointment and a bandage. Poor baby. Oh my God, look at the mess you made. But if you want to go traditional, you're gonna wanna try my Grandma Tessie's old country latke recipe. Now, how many nights of Hanukkah are there? Eight, right. That's exactly how many ingredients you will need for this recipe. Potatoes, eggs, onion, salt, pepper, matzo meal, baking powder, and the one main Hanukkah ingredient, oil for frying. First, you have to grate the potatoes and the onions. You can do this the old fashioned way with a grater like this. It's hard work and you have to use some elbow grease. It gets much harder when you get down to the nub. Ow! Man, I just did it again. Judah McAbee. Oh, it hurts when you grate your knuckles. Ah. Ah. Anyway, better to use a food processor, but be careful. You're looking for that grateful texture, not a puree. 
Add the rest of the ingredients, mix it all up, put some oil in the pan, and start your frying. You're gonna smell up the house something fierce, so you can expect visitors in the kitchen kibitzing. And did I mention there's gonna be oil everywhere? But the end result is pure, delicious nostalgia, sizzling, savory, and scrumptious. Gail, I scraped my knuckles. I need some ointment and a bandage and a tetanus shot. Oi, Doug, you're such a slameel. Mmm, it's worth the trouble to go old school. Happy Hanukkah.